three years old and he and my mom rode in the trolley, right? So we get done with this marathon. I have just run over 26 miles and I'm dying. And my dad worked. So this uh, Twin Cities Marathon, you start in Minneapolis and you run to St. Paul. And, uh, but it's a, it's a circuitous route cause it's not 26 miles to St. Paul. So you, you do some side stuff, but whatever. So you run to St. Paul, you end up there. My dad worked in St. Paul at the time. And so he tells my mom <laughs> park in my parking spot. Cause then, you know, you're, you're in St. You're in downtown. So park in my parking spot at work. So it's fine. This was a terrible plan because the parking spot is over a mile from where we finished. So this ends up being just a shit idea, right? So we get done running 26.2 miles. Plus, you know, you, you kind of make some lateral running. So you actually run farther than the marathon because you, you have to go around people or whatever. Um, and you, uh, you don't do a perfect route. But um, we run over 26 miles. We get done. You're walking around a bit to cool down. They give you a banana because that helps. And they give you the space blanket, some chicken soup because it's cold because it's Minnesota in October. And um, and uh, I go find my mom and my kid. And they're like, okay, well, we need to go to the car. Car's over a mile away. So we have to walk a fucking mile after this. And my kid, uh, my, my, my second son, who's he's great. He's so cool. Uh, he says that he doesn't want anything else but me to carry him. <laughs> I have to carry him for a my mi- I'm dying, right? You could put me on a ventilator. I'm dying. And I have to carry him. And my my buddy's like uh my buddy's in better shape than I was. And he's he's like a big swole guy, and he's like, no, I'll carry him or whatever. And he's like, no. No. And I'm like, how about going to Mimi? Mimi can carry you. No, no. So I'm sitting here. I have to fucking carry this kid a mile after, uh, after running the 26 miles and wanting to, wanting to die. But, uh, you know what? You do it because you have to do it. You have to do it. It's great. And I don't regret it for a second, but at the time I was like, please fucking just go on anybody else's arm. I'm dying. During this autopsy, uh, 